All right, this is for Connie. Connie, uh, this is Murray uh, working in hand so I can actually take some video here. Um, I'm a little better at explaining. So this is in hand work on your mare. And you know one of the biggest problems with her, while well, one, she was super stiff, and two, uh, just really jumpy and not very responsive at all to the bit. So this in hand work you actually do in bridle a bit. And uh, what we want to get out of her is better balance. I mean, it's because she's so stiff, she doesn't have very good balance. If you were riding her, you might have noticed that when she turns, she tends to flip around uh, rather than track straight and actually bend. So in this, we're actually asking her for softness. It's also a good way, since you're kind of double riding her as well, to get her to, uh, to see how this mouth problem that she has is going to affect her. So far it's not. And, you know, that's the, that's the big thing here is if she stays light um, and responsive to the bit, then I don't think that uh, any kind of melanoma or whatever they are in her mouth is going to be a, a problem at all. So this this work is ideal to get balanced, to be able to do different stuff, to be able to start really the lateral work, um, be able to start to control that hind end, and of course uh, be able to actually get you to uh, stop with the seat. In this case, you actually use the crop to be able to teach your collection. And the first bit of collection, as you see where you place it on there, and that really does two things. Um, one, it asked her to get her hind underneath her. Uh, in this case, it becomes a stop. That's really the first step of collection, getting that hind underneath. And second, the tendency is, is when they do stop that way, is they actually square up behind so they're already balanced. So the next step they take, it's in balance, and you don't have to worry about her yanking on you and pulling everywhere. Um, although this work seems rather simple, it's really tough, and you'll find out because you'll do it here. And it's a great way to be able to do kind of everything. You see, see where you're there with the crop, wanting her to stop. She'll ask her to go forward again. asking her to turn, she's really asking her to bend and bend through the middle. You can see her applying pressure to the outside rein to be able to make sure that she stands up through the turn, not lays her shoulder into you, which is a really bad habit, really bad habit to be able to do. And you know, the next step of that is actually getting her in the frame correctly so that she can actually start to gate. You know, I got her into gate riding, that's one thing. Uh, getting her back into gating here is another. So that's actually coming here, and that's really kind of very nice to be able to do. So this is just kind of the first step, you know, I kind of completed most of our ground that we needed to do. Been on her here a couple of times. Wanted to go back to this. Uh, this is just great work to be able to do to get them balanced. Get her, get her muscles back where we, where we want them. So, and <clears throat> when, when you come over here, can you stop her? I want to be able to show her using the crop there. Okay, so. Go, go around, maybe cut through the middle and stop, so sh so I can show her that uh, she stops. You know, what, what that looks like on this side with the crop. So, as you heard, I just asked Marie to come through. She's going to ask her to stop here. You'll see she uses very little rain here, right? Applies that pressure there, and you see there, and you can actually see the hind end kind of come underneath when she stops, and that's it's really the first part of collection. And, uh, works very, very well.